Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. Today we are taking a look at the uh, A6 Intercept. This is by Demos Inc., um, a developer. This is a Grumman aircraft. And uh, we're just gonna, actually we're sat on the ground here over in the Keys. We're gonna take it for a short flight and uh, we'll be checking it out today and seeing what it's all about. So. We'll uh, go ahead and just uh, first start off by saying it's a really amazing looking aircraft just on the exterior. I like that it's uh, kind of wore out here and uh, we're just going to take a look at it, take it for a flight, walk around. We have our um, ladder that folds up in here that's out right now. Uh, pretty nice looking aircraft. It does come with 16 uh, or I think it's 14 different liveries. Um, but uh, I have some notes here for it. We're going to start it up on a cold and dark, take it for a little bit of a test flight, and uh, bring it back down. I do love that it has the uh, animation of the wings that come down and up, which we'll take a look at in a minute here. And just the detailing on this alone, if we could just check that out. I mean, and uh, you'll see here in a minute that that gets a little bit better. You got your... Do not remove, I guess that's the pins for the wings, until you're ready to unfold them. And um, we got that landing gear, of course. We'll go ahead for a closer look. Now, this is a pre-release version of this aircraft. Um, they will be updating it and uh, fixing anything that uh, you may notice in this video that's not done correctly yet. So keep that in mind. This is kind of like an early access video. But um, just looking at it, it is very beautifully modeled. This aircraft is... Uh, very fun aircraft and pretty simple so if you're into fighter jets and and you're not looking for um you know uh the the uh full startup and all the procedures um this is a little bit easier going than the you know than the major ones so uh it does make life a lot easier this is a more of a simple aircraft that um they had going on back in the day um, but nevertheless it is beautifully modeled and the systems are really nice inside this aircraft as well so uh, we'll go ahead and jump inside I'll kinda show you what I mean so so when I when I get into fighter jets I get confused because I'm not um, much of a fighter jet guy I do enjoy them occasionally but uh, I love aircrafts, and uh, this one is so unique. I mean, just looking at the interior of this thing, it's beautifully modeled inside and out, right? You can hide the stick if you like as well. Of course, not everything's clickable, but um, as you know with Demos, he's always updating stuff and uh, getting things um, situated more and more. So you just... Uh, really got a lot a lot to work with in this aircraft as of now and it is uh, very nicely done um, hopefully I don't miss anything in this video if I do I'm gonna link Brett plays video as well because I couldn't get my systems to work correctly um, for the uh, weapons so um, I had some internet issues it wasn't allowing me to download the weapons pack um, so at least we got the plane to take a look at today and I will link um, Brett plays to watch his uh, review video as well. If you have any further questions, anything I missed in this video, you can go ahead and feel free to check out his channel and his link to the video. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and put on the checklist and uh, we'll, uh, we re pretty much pre flighted it, right? So let's jump inside uh, the cockpit here. Okay. Uh, let's get started. So avionics, uh, we got the batteries and uh, the avionics system. So the master avionics can come on too. I think that's uh, where is it? Right there. Batteries can come on. Gen one and Gen two. So this is clickable too. Just in case you guys don't know where they are, uh, the generator one and generator two is right down here fairly uh, straightforward aircraft nothing too complex here but uh, definitely uh, a really great and fun aircraft to fly I've checked it out and uh, it is pretty cool we'll, we'll do some maneuvers with it and check 
uh, different things out. Okay, so fuel, it looks like the fuel is already, there we go, on. We'll put them both on, even though we only need the one right now, right? So now we can engage the starter. I think if you come down here, there's a button under here. Oops, sorry. That we can go ahead and engage. And then we can uh, look for engine start. Oops, I did it. Okay, so I did start it. Okay, there we go. So we should have anti-collision lights on. Beacon light. Right. So the throttle stays at idle, right, until you get to a certain percentage, and then we can go ahead and move it to 20%, and then it will start uh, engaging in that. And you can listen to the sounds here of the startup. Definitely fantastic sounds, right? There we go. We got ignition. There's a good light there. There we go. See the rise in the temperature. The EGT is coming up there. Very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Okay, moving on. Uh, we got our second fuel we turned on. We'll go ahead and we put our throttle to 20%. We can move our throttle down a little bit there for the second one. And we do the same thing um, with the next one here. So we'll go down, press uh, start for second engine. So both of those are underneath. Just got to make sure you click them, and then we can keep an eye on that. And we'll go ahead and uh, check that, check that. And once we get those engines up and running, we can actually go right here, put the ladders up. And there's another button here. If you want the pilot on, visible or off. I prefer it off. Some people like it on, but if it is on, you can see that his arm moves with the stick, which I find pretty cool, and also the pedals. His legs move as well, which I've never seen that before. I don't know if that's in other fighter jets or other aircrafts, but um, it's pretty cool. This right here is your nameplate, so whatever the name of your aircraft is shows up right here. And you can make that available or make it disappear. Totally up to you. We can go ahead and leave that uh, on. All right, we got a good engine start for the second one. This is your uh, ladder. And I believe that that is your co-pilot there. So there's your co-pilot. So if you want somebody to hang out with you and you feel lonely, you got somebody here for you, you know? All right, we'll get rid of the pilots for today. And let's close up the canopy. That's beautiful sounds in there. And now to fold the wings down is quite simple too. Everything's pretty straightforward in this aircraft. Um, after start checklist, we'll just go over real quick here. So we'll turn on the oxygen because we'll probably need that. Check. Anti-skid can come on and checked. Uh, remove the ladder, we did that, and that is checked. Canopy is closed and checked, um, and lights as required, right? So these are your, uh, your lighting, I guess, right? Oh, this is uh, for your gun sights too, by the way, which uh, I'll show you what that is. Uh, right in this hut here, you can... Uh, turn that on and see your gun sight. Not necessary for our takeoff here, but you also have a dimming switch for the bottom. We do have a master caution on here. So, let me just go ahead and take care of some things. Alright, cool. We don't want too much power in it. Alright, before uh, taxi checklist, um, we have to fold the wings down. That's our next step here. So the fold, well, the wings are already folded down. That's weird. Okay, so uh, let me show you how that's done. This is how we fold our wings up. 
and we can also fold them down so just this lever right there as you see I love that animation beautiful beautifully modeled now there's only two sets of uh, flap extensions here but this does have a sl um, slats as well so if we go one it will actually extend I picked this livery on purpose because we have the red to indicate so you guys can see a visual example of it um, with the first notch of flaps and the slats out uh, it handles um, a little bit heavier of an aircraft even though it's a lighter one it feels like m a little bit more like an airliner the way this thing flies it does about 450 knots too um, really cool aircraft we'll check out the liveries at the end of the video as well alright so with that being said uh, this is full flaps by the way if you want to see what full flaps look like there you go and we don't need that that's only for landing we only need one notch for takeoff here if you guys want to see uh, speed brakes speed brakes come out very nice animation here we got the speed brakes on the tip of the wing there uh, I believe this has a hook um, and stuff like that for aircraft carriers however I don't have that set up I think you need to have an add-on for the static uh, for the aircraft like the hooks and stuff I don't personally have that extended hook so we do have a hook here it might actually work for if you bought an aircraft carrier I do have one aircraft carrier and uh, your extender I think is over here for the front that uh, that little piece right there is for the aircraft carrier and you can also probably extend that alright so the, that's your gear up right there and uh, it doesn't look like this is available yet but that's okay um, beautiful model though I mean just check this thing out man. now I'll, I wanted to show you guys about the uh, weights right so if you go into weight and you do have weapons you can turn your weapons you just do anything over a thousand pounds like 1001 and uh, same here 1001 and set right whoops uh, 1001 and 1001 just gotta take off that last digit there and if you go out here you'll have weapons here and here um, you can either keep those extenders on so this is your uh, external fuel on the outside there and if you want you can actually get rid of that or you can go ahead and use it and you fill it up they come back underneath the wing there we'll leave them today because I think it looks a little bit better with it with that being said our wings are folded let's go ahead and check that we got our taxi light already on there which is fine and our parking brake we'll go ahead and release that and check and next one before checklist that's good can it be oh that's your that's your grip up front okay so if you want to shoot off a aircraft carrier there you go there's your what's it called um, pull grip no, canopy okay so taxi lay is on flaps are well they're right now they're good okay cool let's go ahead and taxi out and take it for a test flight see how it flies it's really nicely made I really uh, think that they did a great job with it you know just looking at it the sounds let's go ahead and taxi here the animation of the wheel doesn't look like it turns a lot uh, but I don't know if that's accurate to the actual aircraft itself because it, it does feel like a heavier aircraft I should have probably went to the end of that runway we're gonna need all this runway don't mind me hitting that barn that is my fault okay we're gonna we're gonna go up here and then we'll take off uh, very beautiful aircraft I really like this livery too it's a good display of the slots right there and uh, let's see if I missed anything on the way out here we'll have a checklist so uh, weapons cold and dark we did that uh, 14 liveries it comes with 
Um, I'm going to link Brett Play's video in the description. Um, the ladder, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my checklist. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. If there's anything I did miss, please let me know in the comments. If you guys, uh, uh, just so you know, this will be coming out um, within the next week. So if you want to pick it up, uh, definitely... You know, this is a, a good opportunity. If you guys want any other content made on this aircraft, please let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to make it for you, explaining anything um, that I can. But overall, this is a awesome aircraft. You know, this is something fun, easy to fly, easy to handle. If you're not familiar with jets, this might be a good starter to get into and uh, start learning some of the systems because there's not a lot of them. It's pretty uh, friendly to use for anyone. Let's go ahead and get these engines up here. Here we go, boys. Handling's pretty good on the ground. It's uh, putting a little bit of left or right rudder in there. The airspeed's alive here. Coming up. 125 knots. This thing likes to go pretty quick here. Oops. I'm putting a lot of rudder in. Pull up here. Let's get a visual of that gear coming up. Beautiful. We got a heck of a storm out here to the left of us probably why we are gotten blasted off the runway there. Here's some uh, different vantage points of view. Okay, we go ahead and get those flaps retracted there. I love the texturing on the front of this aircraft too. So there's some uh, different views that come standard with it, right? That's three. Uh, let's see. I believe control one, control two, control three, control four. Oh, wait, hold on. Control one is here. Control two, control three, control four, control five, control six, control seven, control eight, and control nine back there. And that's your regular basic one, F. So uh, there's your different um, views of the aircraft. Of course, uh, you can use whatever you want. This is your little map here that you can see inside. Pretty cool feature. We got a big storm to the left of us. We're over here in the Bahamas today, so we're actually going to make our way up to Hempstead uh, Airport, which isn't too far. It's actually uh, behind us to the right. However, um, with this storm being in the way, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go. Let's try to go ahead and do a loop. Right now, uh, we're doing uh, 300 knots. This thing, let's see what the max power is. So I'm going to put full blast on here. Let's get an idea for how fast this thing can go. So we're at uh, five, uh, 0 0.5 Mach and continuing. We're, I think, about 8,800 uh, feet right now for our altitude. We're continuing to climb in power here. Really nice. I love the sounds of this aircraft. I love the visual of outside. It's such a unique aircraft. Demos does a great job on these planes, man. Really, you could tell the work is there, you know? It's not easy to make these aircrafts. And the fact that uh, all this stuff is working good, and they always get better, too. They start out quite simple, and he always gets uh, updates, and they, they the guy updates these all the time. This uh, developer, Demo Inc., is uh, amazing. Amazing job with these aircrafts. I'm trimming out slightly here on the bottom, and it's actually responding very, very nicely just trimming out to get the nose down again for the speed to increase here all right guys so we're we're doing a true airspeed of 473 knots almost 400 uh, 400 knots 480 
five true airspeed on the ground here pretty uh quick it's it doesn't go it's not supersonic or anything like that however pretty uh quick aircraft you know we're doing Mach 0 uh, 0.77 which is not bad all right let's see how this thing handles we'll try a, uh, to roll it so I'm going to pull off the power a little bit here and it rolls pretty good let's do an internal roll here not bad you know it's uh it's stable very stable okay so it's a slow roll but very stable we only lost about 500 feet in that roll which isn't bad at all I actually like this plane pretty cool views too I kind of feel like you would do this as a pilot you know like lean up against the uh, front of the cockpit to look out to see uh, where we're going here we're over the coast of Florida here, so there's going to be plenty of airports to pick um, to go to. So uh, in the meantime, let's try to do a loop. The next one, we're going to take out a little bit of power. We'll drop the nose, and we'll put power in and pull up. Once we get the nose over, I'm going to pull power back out. Let it come down. We're 11,000 feet right now. Rolling right over the top. There we go. Up and over it goes. Not bad at all. I'm going to pull out some power now put some more power in that's one way to lose some altitude right there's a airport right there all right let's uh, go ahead and pull the speed brakes a little bit here to slow us I'm gonna line up with this airport I believe this might be Fort Lauderdale that we're over here or Miami International could be Miami I think that is downtown Miami right there Let's put a notch of flaps in. Let's watch that gear come down. Always one of my favorite things to do. There it goes. Under 220 knots, the gear will start to come down. And we'll line up with one of these runways. Now keep in mind, this plane is pretty quick. Probably 165 knots to, two, uh, to 170. Full flaps coming in. You're gonna have to add power this thing uh, definitely doesn't want to go slow even for the landing it's more like an airliner the way it feels to me yeah let's try it out I got a lot of glitching in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator lately on my finals I'm not sure what's going on with that but I'm gonna have to check into it Try not to stall here. This plane likes some speed on the way in, but it's very, very responsive on the throttles. Very responsive. So uh, you can really get out of trouble quickly if you find yourself under power. We have that storm coming in, so we got a lot of uh, turbulence and wind on this landing here. So try to give it a butter, a butter day here. Not my best landing, but hey, we made it. Doesn't have reverse thrust or anything like that, so you just gotta pull out the power, and once you touch down, you can pull the speed brakes. But overall, really, really nice aircraft here. Really nice. I, I have a some things that I'm not 100% sure like that glitching of the landing light but if I turn off my landing light it stops so it could be something going on with my own controller 
see lights on, lights off. See, so it's not the aircraft. It's something to do with Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is interesting, but you know how that goes. All right, let's go ahead and get off the runway here and uh, just finish up the video. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll make sure I put a link in the description. We'll go check out the liveries, but overall, this is a beautiful aircraft. Um, here it has a dumping cabin pressure, a couple other switches in here, de-icers, um, bleed air, uh, de-icer, uh, transponder, um, identifier, which we probably should have put on. I forgot to do that. It didn't have it in the checklist, so a couple things missing, but probably stuff you should already know if you're flying, right? Here's a heading bug, and it does have an autopilot system as well, which is pretty cool that that's functional so if you guys get tired of hand flying it but it's pretty fun to hand fly to be honest with you if you do get tired of hand flying it it does have an autopilot I don't know if there's any uh, altitude reading or anything like that on here doesn't look like it but I could be I could be missing it there's the heading mode and the course I don't know if it has an altitude um, reader or not, and maybe it doesn't, but uh, not a big deal. Alright, let's taxi off the runway here. I love the sounds of that aircraft, listen. Sounds look really good. Beautifully, beautifully done. And the brakes, you see the the little bit. It could use a little bit of work with the stiffness. I don't know if that's true to real life, but you see, it just claps up in the gear. It looks a little stiff to me right there, but it could be true though. Life, I don't, I don't really know too much about this aircraft in general. Um. But uh, usually you get a little bit more uh, dipping. Um, but it could be just the way the aircraft's designed. Uh, it is an older aircraft, so I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and park over here, set the parking brake, and uh, go check out the liveries and wrap this video up. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Anything you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. I do appreciate you guys watching and supporting it, this channel. If you're into this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, smash that thumbs up. All right, let's... Uh, we already did uh, before takeoff. We did that, right? So landing gear's up. Okay, so where's our checklist um, for shutting down is the question, right? After landing secure, flaps are clean. Hooks retracted. Parking brake is set. Wings as required for fold. You don't have to fold it, but we'll fold it just to be cool. Because we can, why not, right? Engine 1 shut down. Engine 2 shut down. It's going to get awfully quiet in here. Flooding lights. Uh, we just turn off the lights that we had on here. Okay, navigational lights off. Um, canopy, we can open back up here. Ladder as available, so we can go ahead and click the ladder again. And avionics can uh, come back off, and battery can come back off. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's very uh, simple and uh, really a great aircraft. Oh, here we go. Okay, chalks can come back on. Where's the chalks? Is there a chalk? Yeah, let's see. Oh, they're already underneath. Okay, cool. So when you shut it down, it, it uh, puts the chalks and everything back. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. Back to cold and dark there. And uh, definitely such a nice aircraft. But let me know what you guys think of it. And let's go check out the liveries real quick before we wrap this up. See, there's a lot of different liveries here. So we have about uh, 14 different liveries. You got Brett Plays, Bunker Squadron, which I uh, love those guys. Haven't talked to them in a while. Um, 
a bunch of different liveries here. Any any one you can choose from. This is the one we use, VA85 today. Um, I guess that's the squadron. Um, if these look familiar or something you guys are into, try them out. There's plenty of liveries to choose from, as you can see, even Desert Storm ones. Really cool aircraft. And uh, one thing I want to touch on for the weapons. Weapons pack, uh, you can add on to this. Uh, I think it's cluster bombs. There's two of them, one underneath the wing here and one on the exterior of both sides. So uh, I don't think they work or anything like that, but they are visible and they do show. So pretty cool feature to have and uh, always a pleasure uh, getting early access to any uh, of uh, Demos' aircrafts here. And this is certainly an honor for me to make this video. I really appreciate the opportunity for it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Smash the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. And the plane will be released next week. So look out for it. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye.